I want to show you something awesome. Awesome. Are you ready? I'm ready. So this actually comes from Vincent. This is a really cool da tip. And he was saying in a show, I think it was 102, when we were talking about um, accessibility and text-to-speech. Yes. Some folks were saying, wait, 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 no, it's in, it's in the I iOS uh, 5 itself. Right. Where you and can we just demonstrated copy, a couple You can of copy and paste yeah. and speak it. Yeah. And that's right. And I said, oh, it's Siri's voice. Great. Right. And he said, hey, what you can actually do is change it. For example, he lives in Australia, and he would prefer the voice to have an Australian accent. Absolutely. In fact, so the Australian go, is a nice lady, I believe. It is. So you yes. go into the international settings, mm -hmm. which is under general, um, and you go ahead and choose Australian. So... For demo purposes, I've selected some text from this Verge article, so I'll go ahead and speak, you know, with the American accent. Something is fundamentally broken in the market for mobile providers, so says that's Robert Gall, one Got of the it. founders of Karma. Got it, Siri. You're the best. So I'll go ahead and now... I am in my general international settings. Now, this doesn't work for just any old accent. You can't be like, I want a Maltese American accent. Well, then you'll get it, and it'll be in Maltese. Or Correct. Yeah. yeah, you don't, it, it, it doesn't work that way. But Look for, at all the voices I found the UK, Ireland, South Africa. In fact, let's do, um, let's do South Africa. These are the same like. voices, actually, you have on the Macintosh. And uh, this is, Apple has really beefed this selection up if you haven't looked at it lately. It's so annoying how it does that. Yeah, you have to start over. I have to start over. But now we're in South Africa. Something is fundamentally broken in the market for mobile providers, says Robert like Gall, one of That's the founders of Karma, a startup that a just graduated to, from the Techstars to, uh, NY Accelerator program. We want to give everyone a mobile. So, yeah, there you go. New Zealand and Australia, I think, are different, which, of course, yes, they, are. they are. I believe. I mean, yeah. the accents are different. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard for people who live now, far where, away now, to that, discern between the two. But where they are where is that again? Is that in general? In, it, yeah, it's in general and then international. And then, um, well, general, yeah, uh, international and then uh, region format. Region format. See, that's not the first place I'd look for different voices. Right, I know. So this is, again, you've got a variety of regions around the world. And some of them... So not. if I pick Sweden, the voice will be Swedish. Right. Wow, that's interesting. Apparently, they sing a lot in Sweden. I think that's my iPad. Oh. That's Leo's iPad. That's my iPad? You're playing something. What am I playing and where? No one if knows. If you double click and then I, go to the left. How do I do that? Go to the left. Press, there you go. Press pause. Pause. Uh, magic spells. Weird. No idea who that is that's or why. That's a good song, actually. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. So, thank you so much, oh, Vincent. That is a great duh tip. Good tip. Yeah. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't normally think that looking that. in the regions would change the accent. Right. And it doesn't change it. They should have little, like, works for English type of flags next to the ones, because I spent quite a bit of time going. Yeah, so what work? happens if you, pick, if you pick Swedish? You just don't get anything? Uh, it, just, it, it, it just goes back to um, English, whatever, American. You, yeah, whatever you had Cause you're not last set for the English um, dialects. Like, if it was American, it would just sound American. Okay. Because it's not... Got it. Speaking. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Swedish. Yeah. It's good stuff. 